Hey everyone, it's Alex with another Next Up, and I am here with, before I say it, I love your name so much, thank Indiana you. Masara. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Hi okay. guys. So I just saw you perform. Yeah. You're incredible. Thank you so much. How long have you been doing this? Um, that was my first live performance. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me just tell you something <laughs> real quick, girl. Let me let me readjust. Okay. <laughs> I have seen many live performances and there are some people out there that do it for a really long time and they weren't as good as what I just saw. Thank you so much. So you're good. Like <laughs> it's only going to go go up from here, I guess. Yeah. Thank so you. what what was it like doing your first live um, performance? I was I was thinking I was going to be more nervous, but I really wasn't. I was like, oh, that wasn't that bad. I got off stage. I was like, it's done. Yes, I've done it. That's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been singing if this is your first live performance? Um, well, okay. So I've been in singing since I was about like eight-ish, yeah. seven-ish, eight-ish. But then I really only got into the recording about a year ago. Wow. And then, um, yeah, so only about a year I've been doing this whole music thing. So talk to me a, like, a little bit about that journey because he doesn't sound like you're from L.A. based no. on your accent. Yes. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Australia originally. So when did you move to L.A.? Uh, two years ago. Yeah. Okay. I moved here two years ago with my mom. mom. She's somewhere out there. She's my somewhere. Mom. There, there she is. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> That's awesome. So what yeah. brought you to L.A.? I'm uh, assuming this <laughs> well actually originally my brother did so my brother okay. was the one that got me into all of this actually yeah Wait, tell me about that yeah. there's so many questions I've, yeah so I'm, many already, questions. I'm already telling you we're 30 seconds in i'm gonna love this interview so <laughs> oh, tell me you. how your brother got you into um this. so my brother was well he still is he's an actor and a singer amazing singer um and then i was one day waiting at an audition for him and like the casting director came out and was like yo do you want to audition i was like no. I was like, why would I want to do that? Because I was like, originally, track, sports was like my thing. Really? I was the athlete of the family and my brother was like the singer, dancer, musician. How funny. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Um, and so they came out and they're like, do you just want to audition? I was like, fine, I'll audition. What even is this? So then I walked in and then my brother... What an and athlete <laughs> attitude, by the way. Continue. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, let's, let's just do this. So I walked in and then um, my brother and I booked the job. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah, and then I was just like, oh, maybe this isn't so bad. Because, like, my first couple of weeks here, like, it takes some people a long time to get, like, an agency and a management. Yeah. I got them within three weeks, which wow. never happens to anybody. Wow. So, yeah, like, I'm here because my brother. Shout out to you. <laughs> that's really incredible. Yeah. So, yeah. you you really fell into this a hundred percent but what's yeah. cool is it sounds like well obviously i would hope that you liked it because you're still doing it a hundred it's like it's the best thing like it's honestly i don't know why i didn't think of it before because like my brother was always telling me how good it was and then i tried it out for myself i was like i'm not gonna admit you were right but you was right yeah, it was yeah. good <laughs> it was fun you uh, are you give him props you yeah. have to give him props. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give him props there <laughs> that's incredible so that was you moved here you said two years ago so this all yeah. happened really really Recently. Recently. Yeah, I moved here for... Because my brother came over here originally, yeah. and then, like, I didn't want to be away from my family, Obvi. Of course. So, mm, I just said Obvi. <laughs> That's okay. You've um, been in L.A. a little bit too long, I guess. Way too long. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I came over here, and then, yeah... So that's that's really incredible. Um, and being an L.A. transplant myself, um, but not I'm only from Jersey. That is not as far away <laughs> as, as Australia is. Yeah. What's just been living in L.A. like for you? Obviously, it's going well. But like, was it a bit of a culture shock? Um, Actually, I mean, slightly, because where I'm from, which is Perth, is like. The scenery is like kind of the same, not the scenery, but like the vibes are kind of the same. But the biggest thing that like I had a culture shock of was just like how many different people you meet in a mm. day. I was like, how can there be this many people and like so many different stories in one place? It is place? my favorite thing about this city. It really is. Like I could be talking to an Uber driver who was just like, oh yeah, I just went shark diving last week. I'm like... Who what? does that? What do you mean? Like they're just the weirdest conversations I've had. Also, the like the people that you meet there are some characters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of characters Yeah, here. I was uh, once asked how long it takes to drive from L.A. to Perth, which is wow. where I'm from. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. Yeah. So that's not possible. <laughs> so that's In case like you're watching this and you're like, how long does how it long take does to it? drive? It's not possible. My mom and I were sitting there and we were just like, how did you answer that? Did you? Oh. Just, I would have just gone with it. I would have been like, mm, we did a, a we, solid three days. We, we said that we were like, mm, a while. <laughs> a while <laughs> that's so right no but you know what? it's so true though because you have so many different 
yeah. the people that live here and it is so diverse and yeah. you can just hear so many different stories that don't sound anything like yours and I it's know it's really inspiring I know. too it really is it really is inspiring and like there have been so many people that have just like inspired my journey that like to get to this point like every single person in this room that have come with me today have like inspired me in one way or another to like help me grow as an artist or not even as an artist but as a person so that's incredible yeah. so just um because I usually bring up food in most of my conversations do you have a favorite <laughs> spot in LA that's like your favorite food place in and out I'm not even gonna like I'm not even gonna question that we don't have in and out in Australia yeah we don't have it in Jersey either oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like thing. it's it's pretty fantastic it's pretty fantastic. how do you what do you order what's your order I'm not even gonna lie right now I get a double double with animal style fries and a milkshake yeah. <laughs> no, yes. I know my. Wow, I answered that yes. really quickly. You answered it so fast. <laughs> that and also Starbucks. We don't have Starbucks in Australia. Wait, really? I know. There's Starbucks literally everywhere. I know. And like the first time I came here, I was like, "What is this Starbucks place?" Like it was on every single corner. And then I walked in. I was like. I'm Whoa. sorry. I can't imagine ever not knowing what Starbucks is because I feel like I you know. could go to the most remote area in the entire it's world. Like, hi, and may I take your order, be, Yeah, there would yeah. be a Starbucks on the corner. Like, 100%. it could be the only thing in that place and it would be a Starbucks. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, welcome, I yeah, guess, well, welcome to, the, to, the to the world of Starbucks. Like, I didn't start drinking coffee until, like, I don't really drink coffee, but then, like, it's kind of like a social thing here to like oh, get yeah. a Starbucks, yeah, get yeah. a coffee, get yourself and have a vanilla a nice latte. Chat. Yeah, like, and I was like, I'm kind of in for this. Work on your play yeah. or your new TV show that you're trying to start doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I see go, so many people they're going like this and like. Oh yeah, like, that's what they're doing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> What's so, happening? <laughs> speaking of being creative, though, um, because we talked about you being a you acting, and I know you do yes, a lot of acting still. Do. How did the whole music thing then get introduced? Like, you did acting first, it sounds like. Yeah. And then music, we're just like, well, you know, why don't I give music a go too? Like, how did this happen? <laughs> Again, a coincidence. Um, my mom was hiking. She met a producer. He got lost. Well, this is already the most LA story yeah. I've ever oh, heard. 100%. So continue. We were going hiking. We met a producer. <laughs> Yeah. Um, she went hiking. She met a producer. Um, they became friends. Um, I went in there to just do a recording of my voice. Ended up cutting a song. And then I was just like, oh, this music thing's kind of fun. And then I started, like, getting into it. I knew, like, my mom always knew, like, a lot of people in the music industry. It just never was really, like, my thing, I guess. Yeah. I kind of, like, took a break from it. Not from recording, but, like, from music in general. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we kind of just got into it. I was like oh, this is kind of fun. Let me just try this out. So then tried it out, recorded a few songs. We are now here, smoking my eyes is out. Yeah, <laughs> and I was going to yeah. say, I'm happy you did try it out because you're really good at it. <laughs> Thank you. So Smoke in My Eyes is out and the music video just dropped too it did. recently. It did indeed. Um, what's the, tell me about the song. What's the song about? What inspired it? Yeah, um, so the inspiration behind the song is a breakup that I went through. Yeah, so that happened. That always inspires the best uh -huh. music, doesn't really it? Does. Really yeah, does. Yeah, no, um, no, I really like I re I'd recorded stuff before it all happened. But then the minute I went through a breakup, I was like, I felt so much more like emotion and so much more like passion to like write because it was like music is really like a therapy. Like I never really understood that until that happened. Yeah. Like it was my therapy. And then so that happened. And basically the song is about like how much I didn't really see the signs of a relationship. And then the minute I got out of it, I was like, wow, I'm so much better. Like, yeah. yeah, one of the lines is because I'm doing better and you're not invited. So like, I love it. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? It's like, I always envy creative people like you who oh. can go through something and then put pen to paper and, and write a song. Yeah. And it's like, I'm like, oh man, I wish I could write music. That'd be so, yeah. what a dope way to go through a breakup. Yeah. Like breakups just suck in general, but like at least you made something really cool yeah. and catchy and something everyone else can sing along and relate to. That's yeah. awesome. I can't like, I can't give it up all to me. I had some amazing writers that did like a lot of the work of on course. it. And like some amazing people in the studio and around me that surrounded me through this experience because it was like my first breakup. So yeah. I was like, what is this? I don't want to do anything, Anna. Like, ever again. Someone give me ice cream. Oh, no. There was multiple tubs of ice cream. Oh, you got Not it. Not going to lie. A yep. couple of hours later, my girls came over and was just like, his flowers, mm. his ice cream, mm. just trust us. And I was like, best thing. I feel so much better. But Hold um, on to those friends. <laughs> no, yeah. I definitely had have to give it up to... Um, a lot of people who help smoke in my eyes. Well, that's incredible. So what else can we expect? Like, is there like an EP all like what's, definitely what's going in the on? talks, definitely in the talks awesome. and in the works maybe. Yeah. So that, that is in the future, hopefully. But yeah, right now I'm going to release some singles. So, yeah. Well, I'm excited about it. I have Thank one you. more question. Yes. 
Um, it's like the least significant question, but I'm very curious. I'm curious. Your Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all red. Yep. Do yeah. you just have to wear red every day? Why the red? <laughs> I love it. But I'm like, man, like, if yeah, so, that's where that come from. Honest. Wow. Everything in my life is a coincidence. I'm just realizing mm. that. Um, well, I was wearing it a lot in like the summertime. I was like, I'm kind of feeling this color. And then like every time I like wore the color red, I was like, Look at me. I was like, oh. Instagram post. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, yeah, it was kind of just like an empowering color. You know how like some people oh, have it's like. Bold, some, yeah. Yeah, it's like an empowering color for yeah. like anybody, I think. Yeah. Um, and so then I was just like, you know what? I own a lot of red. No way. I didn't own nowhere near as close to how much I have now. But like I owned a lot of red. So I was like, let me start an Instagram theme. So I started an Instagram theme and it's been going since September. September? September. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Going to September. Well, this is great. Um, another coincidence. Yeah. iHeartRadio, I don't know if you saw, but our oh, logo yeah. is red. Oh, and yeah. And we got a lot of red walls in here. There's like a full on red room out there. Oh, yeah. I take my Instagram pictures in front oh, yeah. of that. So I would oh, yeah. take full advantage if I were you. Oh, I did. Okay. I did. Okay. I've, my camera roll's filled now. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad. Well, Indy, yeah. it was so nice talking to you. <laughs> Thank you. It was so nice I'm talking so to you. I'm so pumped too. for you. And I'm so happy that Thank you decided you. to do that audition one day and fall <laughs> into the more creative side yeah, of me too. life <laughs> because it's working out for for you so I'm excited to see where it takes you Yay. <laughs> do you want to say anything to our listeners social handles oh yeah social like handles that? um all of my socials are Indiana Masara thank you guys so much for listening to me talk about everything much appreciated <laughs> Indiana that was next up bye